Hello everybody. Today you're going to do something exciting. You're going to build your own compass. Is that no fun? In the adventure about the compass, we explained that the earth has a magnetic field. And now you know that, you can build your own compass. In order to build your own compass, you need a couple of things. First, you need a needle. Yes, that is going to be used to indicate the direction. The second thing you need is you need a cork. You need a magnet and you need a glass or a bowl of water. So let's have a look at how we do this. Now you're going to work with needles. So be careful that you don't hurt yourself. Yes, anything that is sharp, whether it's a knife or a needle, you have to be very careful around. And you should also not leave it around anywhere so people can step on it. So we take the needle. The needle by itself cannot do a lot. It needs to be magnetic. And that's what you use your magnet for. This magnet has a north and a south pole. And if you touch it against the needle, the needle will take that over. Now to do that, you have to be careful that you hold the magnetic always in the same way, in the same direction. Otherwise, you have to start over again. Now, what we are going to do is we take the magnet, we have the needle, and we're going to move the magnet over the needle about 10 or 20 times, depending how strong your magnet is. So, I'll start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now the needle is magnetic. But if I put the needle now in my glass of water, it will sink to the bottom. So I need something that helps it float. That can be a cork, or it could also be some packaging foam that you have nicely cut into a circle. If I want to place the needle inside the cork, what you do is you place the needle on the table with the sharp point up. Then you hold your fingers all along the needle so it cannot break. And you place the cork on top. Once you have done that, you move the cork down. Do it slowly because it's very difficult with a cork. If you have foam, you will see that it goes a lot easier. Okay, I'm now almost through. And now I'm through. I continue till it's about halfway. So the cork is in the middle. Now I have it in the middle, I can place it in my glass. And what you will see when you place it in the glass, that the needle will always continue to point in the same direction, even when you turn it around. Yes, we are going to put it in the bowl, in the white bowl, because it's easier to see in the white bowl. Let's have a look. Every time I place it in the middle, no matter in which direction I start, it will turn around so that it keeps pointing in that direction. And if I look at my compass, that direction is the north. I turn it around, place it in the middle, and you will see that it starts turning again. Yes, and it points again to the north. Hello my friends, are you ready to make your own compass? And will you be careful with the needle? And will you not forget to hold the needle with three fingers when you push the cork on? Then get active and show the working compass to your teacher or to us at Daring Duck. We will be so proud of you. Have fun, and see you at your next adventure.